I want to tell you how it's like to live without lights. I was once in the catacomb and you hear, see, smells nothing. It is complete darkness. Now in these blackouts we feel something similar. Complete darkness and almost no sounds because windows are closed as much as possible to hold warm here. You used to move but it feels like you took a three hours nap during the day. Imagine, you wake up, it's already dark outside and you are disoriented. You think, what time is now? When will it be light? It's a feeling that you want to sleep and sleep and sleep. The body doesn't understand what to do. To produce melatonin or not? Shall we sleep or shall we do something else? Complete porridge in the head. It seems you are alone in the universe and around you the post-apocalyptic world. This feeling situation happens because those who want to prepare food, work, have a warm shower, they live while they have light and sleep when it is turned off. On the day I shoot this video there was no light for 16 hours. Let me show you this day. I woke up at 4 pm because there was light in night. By light I mean electricity in general. And I was awake. When I woke up, it was already dark outside the window. Only breakfast helped to fully wake up in such an environment. Thanks to Ukrainian businesses that quickly adapt to the needs of people, we have the opportunity to prepare it. This is a portable stove, works on a gas cylinder. If you follow the safety rules and ventilate the room well, this just saves comfort. A year ago I told my friend that an electric stove is one of the best choices for the kitchen. It is so convenient to cook. It heats up so quickly. Now everyone dreams of a gas one because it doesn't need electricity to work. In fact, when you don't sleep well and at different times every day, you don't particularly want to eat. And this is a problem. For the breakfast, my body only accepts porridge. But cats always have a good appetite. And this is great. Every time I sit down to eat, I watch preloaded videos on YouTube to distract myself from the blackness around me. In fact, life without light can be described by analogy of hibernating bears. You wake up without light in the middle of winter and think, why did I get up? Why? It's dark and cold there. I'd better go to sleep. Maybe I was a bear in my past life. It's a pity that I can't sleep until spring. Blackouts feels not really great when you are at home. But when you go outside, you see headlights. You see people walking dogs, drinking coffee. And it, it feels good, better than at home without light. It feels like you are alive and this world has another people. That is why I drawn to the gas station. The gas station is like an oasis. As I told you in the last video, this is one of the points of invincibility, where there is always light, heat and the internet, even in an emergency power outage. I showed another point of invincibility in the past video. You can find the link on the card or in the description. Everyone can always buy hot food, warm up and work at a gas station. When the lights are turned off, there are enough people here. There is a sense of unity or something like that when you go in there. I have the feeling that we are all in the same wave now and going through the same shit. But this only makes you feel even more that life goes on. Okay, enough about the gas station. After a short walk through the city without street lights, I returned home. If it is night, then the city plunges into a complete darkness. It was a first time when I saw stars in the sky above Kyiv. But this is me describing the experience of 
the most brutal blackouts. But it also happens that you don't have light for two or four or six hours. Now it is no schedule because emergency shutdowns are in effect. There is a not enough electricity in the system to give light to everyone at once. Too much destructions. This is how Ukrainians will live probably until this summer. Yes, it sounds not soon, but not never. I look for the positive in everything. Otherwise, I can go crazy. Look. It's 17 degrees Celsius in the room, but I'm in a good mood, so... Now I'm gonna show you real Kyiv fashion. Time without lights is the best moment to tidy up the gallery and delete a million unnecessary screenshots. Even without waiting for the phone to discharge, the light came on. Time to do all the housework. Of course, eat home-cooked food. But the first and most important thing is to charge all devices at once. Phones, power banks, laptops. Then enjoy life. That's an interesting moment. And then do some computer work, because there is the internet. By the way, an interesting fact about Ukraine. We have very cheap and very high quality home internet. For less than $5 a month, we get high speed uninterrupted internet. The same with mobile communication. It also costs less than $3 and I get almost unlimited calling and high speed 4G internet even during the war. After hours of computer work, I no longer have the strength to stay awake and it's time to rest. As long as there is warm water, I should definitely take a shower. Because when there is no electricity, there will also be no hot water. For me, the best time of the day is to read before going to bed. Lately, I've been reading novels about the Witcher written by the Polish writer Andrzej Sapkowski, and I like it. It's great to read in bed, it's my favorite habit. I want a sunny day to be the end of this video, not a night. I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon for financial support in my life and creativity. It is huge for me. I leave the links on my Patreon and buy me a coffee. In the description. Thank you for watching this video. Do pobacenia, everybody. See ya. Let me start.